four hours. Yeah, we got up before sunrise, went for a hike up the hill back there, and uh, hunted some uh, wallabies, rock wallabies with our cameras. Shot a yeah. few. Shot a few. <laughs> I might roll that wallaby footage now while I have a coffee and some something to eat. We'll see you soon. Fishing. I'm gonna start off with, and I'm just fishing in front of camp because I can't be bothered walking anywhere right now. And we caught Groper here the other day. Uh, I'm gonna start with a light outfit and a little plastic, 30 pound touch line, and an Ocean's Legacy Dreamcast rod. I've also got the heavy rigged up now the first time. 100 pound touch line, 200 pound leader. This big dangly looking thing. The smaller version's been doing very well on Groper, so we'll see how that goes. And um, it's the Ocean's Legacy Genesis prototype PE8 setup. And my fly rod, which I had planned to catch fish on it out here, I really wanted to use it and get Groper. And there's um, there's a top section of my rod, but uh, I took it off and have rigged it up anyway and we might give it a go because I don't really have to cast far and I really wanted to get a grope on fly so we'll probably give that a go but if a real big one shows up I think I'll just go the heavy because I just got smoked yesterday let me see I'll probably cast this out and just get smoked and be like damn it I should have been casting the heavy might need time that a bit So you haven't seen any gropies, eh? No gropies. Well, that's still slippery in my socks. I went to stand there and kicked that off and I almost slid. Imagine if I just slid straight in. That'd be spectacular. <laughs> At least you got the outfit right. How deep should this be? Not too deep. Is that a groper? Um, not too deep because it's pretty shallow here. You just get snagged on the bottom. I felt like I might have seen a groper over there. But it could just be um, the bottom looking like that. And you'll probably hook up a groper on that. Nearly caught some seaweed. Yeah, I'll give you a quick demo. So you do that first. Give it out. Do this. Give it out. Yeah, so that. Aimed it too high, but anyway. Not allowed to hook a big one up now. And then you go like this. Yeah. And it will be like, it'll go and sink with a shimmy and then back up. Huh? I was just daydreaming listening to you something with this. Of course. No cast required. No cast required. Just lop it in. So this is the action. Oh look, and the redfish wants it. It's a ras.
that can be tighter. Oh, that might be a foxfish. That's on it. I got something. I got something. I got a leather jacket. <laughs> and that's a foxfish. They're um, they're good eating. Yeah, that's a foxfish. Get him, get him. We can eat him. They're similar to the um. If you don't get him, I'm taking the rod back and eat, catching him. Got him. Oh, I've never seen one caught on a lure. Oh, there's two of them. They're similar to Groper. See a leather jacket, mate. Can I have my rod back? Oh, that's kind of snaking you. Here, let me have a go. Let me have a go. Let me have a go. Sorry. Because he nibbled, but I don't know. Got him. You just had to drop it down more. No. That's a good size one too. That's a big fox fish. I'll let you have a go to get the next one if you want. Yeah, so what I did is, cause it was too high, I just sunk it and they just followed it down and nailed it as it sunk down pretty much. There we go. Nice big fat fox fish on a razor edge lures crawl or whatever it's called. Is that focusing that close? Yeah, that's cool, eh? So we'll keep this guy to eat because they're good eating, similar to the groper. They've got teeth and a mouth, <laughs> similar to the groper, to be honest. Zed just dropped the line in. I said, Michael just, I was like, let me dispatch it and I'll be back. Next minute, I'm on and I'm reefed. Do you have a fox fish? Yeah, try over there. Can you see him? It's not him, it's not oh no, there you go. There he is. Sink it, yep. Don't lose my rod. Chuck it out, yeah, there we go. You can literally watch him chase it. Now let him, he, he isn't onto it, chuck it out again. He's chasing it, he wants it. Give him a sec. Has he got it? Just give it a jolt or a jolt too. Yeah. No. Nah. He really does want it. That is such cool sight casting for him, eh? He's a pretty fish. Got him. He goes pretty hard, eh? Yeah. Oh, you jagged him, that's why. <laughs> nice. Good job. Do you want to keep this one as well, or? I don't know. I don't mind. Don't know. We can, maybe we'll let this one go. And we'll keep fishing. We got one. Yeah. Here we go. Another fox fish. They're pretty looking fish. Nice thing. We chuck him back. Very cool. See if there's anything else out there. Wonder if we should go try somewhere else. Yeah. Well, I guess it's either we go that way or we go back to that first ledge that we found the other day, which is pretty nice too. I'm easy. All right, let's go try a new one. Yeah. You can keep casting if you want while I pack up, whatever. So we're going to head up around the corner and go, um, go try somewhere else. Wildlife presenter right here. <laughs> we're just walking to go fish another ledge and check out what we came across. They're carpet pythons, so... Um, one, two, three, four heads.
This is like a pond. A little bit of burly in, see if something comes to have a look. And I'm just gonna flick out around this structure here. Yep, hit it. Hit the structure. Oh, and straight back at me. That was a good cast. Rigged up with the heavy outfit. Got a three-way swivel. It's 200 pound, 200 pound to the hook. Bit of herring that I caught yesterday. Grapnel sinker on 60 pound. Um, and we will take down a bit more herring and a little bit of crab. Just in case. I'm gonna go cast it out next to this rock. One side, I'm not sure which side yet. Out the back here. Oh. My lead is really long. So it just does not cast well, but anyway, we'll give it another go. Not too shabby. I should have walked down. All right, I'm going to try some crab. Swap these back around. Cast some of the crab off. Some of it's still on. All right, let's see. Yep, here we go. Come on. <laughs> Must be a pretty big fish. Yep, it's a big fish. Whoa! <laughs> um, I reckon I'll try wash him up. We'll try release because it's so big. He's got a mate with him. He's big. Huh? He is a big fish. He's proper big. Ah. Oh. That's a proper fish. Holy mo- Oh my word. I don't know if he's gonna release. No, he looks a bit busted. Oh my word. <laughs> That's a proper groper. Holy crap. That is huge. That is huge! There's a big blue grouper. Oh. That is insane. He went hard, eh? Here you go. I'll give you that. You got three rods and everything, and you have to film me. So... So that's it for here. We're going to hike back to camp. I don't have a filleting knife. Well, I do, but I don't have my good one. So I'm going to carry this guy whole back to camp. It's not far. That'll be fun. The uh, snakes are still here having a party.
Laid down on the filleting table. <sighs> Alright, we're back at camp. Time to fill it this guy up. He's gonna have some serious fillets. We've still got that fox fish to fill it as well. True. A little bit of blood up here. Little trick, do a slip. Got a handle. Learned that from an old school grope fisherman. Terry, I think his name was. There we go, two huge fillets. Check out the size of that. Absolutely massive. I'll bag them up, chuck them in the esky. The esky's hiding under the rocks there. Um, full of frozen water bottles and in the shade. So yeah, fish for days. Literally was just sitting back, having some snacks. We're both contemplating having a coffee. It's my last cast. Having a lazy afternoon. Before going to make a coffee. Famous last cast. Hold it up properly like you know how to. That's better. Break sea cod. Probably the best eating thing that we've caught so far. Good Very work. Nice. Man, he nailed it, didn't he? He likes this. It's a big version of the other thing he's cast me for. I can't believe I haven't hooked one up yet out there and then you get on the biggest one ever. Fattest setup. Yep, biggest, heaviest setup catches the smallest, tastiest fish. It's there we go. Long. Anyway. Coffee time. Coffee time. Fish! Yeah, first cast! Fighting fairly hard. I think I just pulled it through some weed or something. Hope it's a brakes here or a Harley. What do we got? Yeah, Harley! Yes! Yes! So good. Just uh, just finished having a coffee and we decided we'll just hang around here, just chill, flick a line out and what do you know? Nice Harley. All right, we're turning into a good day. Very good day, slow start, but we're getting some good fish on the board now. Has he snagged you? Go, go, go. Is he big? I think he might have got snagged. Go. Zed's on. I was just trying to rig up. What do you got? Another. Another Harley. Nice man. With a lump of weed. Just, just swinging them over the rods can handle it easy. Far out. Very cool. It's just the bite has just turned on all of a sudden. That's it. Look at him. That's better. He's learning the, learning yeah. the skills. Hold a fish technique. <laughs> to make it look good. <laughs> Sweet, that, that'll be a male, because it's all blue spots. That's and mine had some orange spots underneath. Literally, like, straight after mine, must be bite time Next or something, cast. I don't know. Yeah, sweet. Very cool. All right, back at it. Just re-rigged the uh, medium outfit for Zed, while he catches Harleys. Number one. It's nice to catch something other than a groper for a change. Oh, he tried to reef me. I got bricked by a little thing. What's it gonna be? I'll go a bit harder. What have we got? Another Harley. Another Harlequin, I think that's number four. This guy's, no, number three for me. I'm getting ahead of myself. One big one, two little ones. I'll chuck this guy back. So there's no legal size on him, but this guy has more room to grow. So we'll release him. Straight down. Gonna. 
All right, we're going for a wander. A wander yonder just over there. Off the end to see what we can catch before sunset. Harleys are back in there in a hessian bag. I'll just do a big fill it up after dinner or something like that. Hey, this looks so good. Just right here even. Heck yes. Hopefully we don't all get anything too big because I didn't bring the net or anything. Be able to walk it down and land it if you really need. Or even land it in there. Yeah, true. Uh, I'm just going to throw this. But I'll listen to you. No, you do what you want. I ain't give a damn. Until you lose the fish Until of a lifetime. Oh, we're going to need to bring some burley out here tomorrow. See if I'm burley and a kingy. Fish on! Come on! Break sea card. Break sea card. Nice little break sea card. I'll probably let this guy go. We've caught plenty of fish today. Um, and he's not massive. I'd keep him if he was a bit bigger. Beauty of these conditions is I can just do this. Oh. Yeah, well, that was not the plan. This was the plan. There we go. <laughs> Beauty of these conditions is I can just drop them on the rocks. Isn't that great? Not. Hey! Look at that! That's a big Harley. Second ever Harley and it's the Stonker. Yeah. Nice man. Very happy. You got fish to take home. I know. Nicole might actually let you come fishing and camping again. She will let me come out for sure. <laughs> My wife loves fish. She doesn't just keep me locked up inside. <laughs> I haven't caught this many harlequin in a session in a long time. Oh, there was a tap. Let me sink it again. Yep, that's a fish. Yeah, buddy. Probably another Harley. Feels a bit like it. Gotta get him over that ledge. There we go. What is he? Oh, he's a big brake seat. This one's dinner. Brake seat cod. Stoked on that. Nice fat brake seat cod. He's turned into a cracking afternoon. Harlequin fish, brake seat cod. Awesome. And a big fat ju uh, big fat groper this morning, just before lunch. Sweet. Oh, we're going to get a fire going, eh? Got plenty of fish to fill it. Fire to make and uh, dinner to cook. Happy days. I think this knife needs a sharpen. I have scraped it on the rocks a few times. Uh, it's doing pretty good still. Well, we're done. We have right here foxfish and break sea cod. I don't know which is which actually. So the slightly smaller one's break sea cod. Bag of harlequin and break sea bag of harlequin. That's Zed's, that's mine. Going in the esky. And I think the fire is gone over there. Zed's got it going, so 
We're great. That is dinner. Spice we have needs. got Spice Taylor. Carolan Coconut Curry. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Front? I have no idea. But anyway, she must be a chef. That's for dinner. We got some spices and a coconut curry sort of thing. We will fry that in some oil in a sec. I've also got some garlic, some fresh homegrown garlic. Would you look at oh that? Oh boy. Fancy. Bit of that. So, and we got Zed's uh, trusty thing. Trusty old. Trusty old thingy jiggy. What did we call it? Saucepan. I think that's what you call it. So I'll chuck that on there. A good bit of oil because I don't want to take any home with me. First. Yeah, that knife is like covered in fish slime and guts too. Perfect. Oh, I won't put that in just yet. I'll do the spice first. Two bits of that. In the bush, mate. This is how we get it done. Safety first, eh? You should just cut it <coughs> in your teeth. Unless that works. I should just put it between my thigh muscles and crush it. Alright, there we go. Next level. Gonna take it further, mate. <laughs> no, let's not take it any further than that. Alright, that is smoking too hot. Burning the oil already. That. And that. Look at that. There we go, now we got some light. I'm just going to go. We got a zucchini. This is my chopping board. You like it? Hopefully they're not too chunky. This is what happens when I cook in the bush. And then I'm just going to slap in that coconut curry mixture. Did we have any water or nah? I'll go grab some. Right. We're meant to add some water. Oh, we can add the water after we add the fish. Don't worry about it. No stress. I'm literally just chucking the fish in. Whole. And a bit of water and we'll simmer it. Let me get some water. Break sea cod. Mmm, buddy. Well, those are a lot of fish. That is, yeah, a lot of fish. All right. <laughs> it's so full of fish. Let's get some water in there and simmer it. Steaming away. Dinner is served. I can just imagine all the ash and crap falling off the bottom. We've got some fish. Slop. <laughs> <laughs> if that's not making it look good, I don't know what will. <laughs> I'm making it look so appealing right now. Look at that slop. We're just missing like some naan bread or something, which I was meant to buy. And then I clean forgot to. I think that's, yep, that's cooked. Good. Oh, that flame is like cooking my toes. You ain't got no hair on your legs. Nah, it's all burnt off. You get judged for presentation as well. Right? Yeah, what do I get? 10 out of 10 I'll for presentation. I'll judge the presentation because <laughs> it tastes amazing now. I don't care what it looks like. Can you see it? Yeah. I can't. Well, That's you're good. glowing. I'm glowing. You're beautiful. You're I'm glowing. just so beautiful. <laughs> I'm glowing. All right, I'm going to try it. This is Braxy Cod and Foxfish in some curry. I forgot what it's called, but anyway. Yeah, it's really good. I reckon a squeeze of lemon. <laughs> it went straight in the fire and said <laughs> You're doing great mate. You couldn't do You're that. Doing great. You couldn't do that if you, you tried. You, down by now. you couldn't do that if you tried, mate. There we go, a bit of fish and a bit of zucchini. Hot. It's very hot. But it's good. Anyway. Cheers for watching everyone. Um Turned into an epic day of fishing today, actually. 
and if you haven't seen we've been here for today's day three so there's two videos prior to this um, first one's getting here and a lot of mayhem of catching groper sight casting day two was the second day well day two was the second day here next video is <laughs> <laughs> I tried so much to hold that in and for you to save it, but there's no saving that. There's no bloody saving that. <laughs> well, let me start over again. No, but that was good though. You're, and you're... then, um, second video is day two, which has some epic sight casting of Groper again. Um, not so much landing, but check it out if you want. And today. So anyway, thanks heaps for watching everyone, and we still got all of tomorrow, and then the next day after that we're heading off around lunchtime, that's the plan anyway, so anyway, cheers, see ya.